Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. This is really exciting for me. I'm sorry I'm not looking more put together, but just keeping it real, I just went to the gym, so I have like no makeup on, hair is a mess, um, but I know you guys love me anyways, so <laughs> thank you. I thought in this first video that I would just take you guys through some of my highlights for the week. Um, so I just wrapped up a workout, did some heavy weights. But yeah, I've got some fun things this week, so I'm just gonna like, compile them all together and take you guys with me right now we're gonna go to the produce place which i feel like is a little hidden gym that maybe only locals know about in nashville it's the cutest little market got all these like local things local produce and it's very small and quaint you literally feel like you're in a market in connecticut or something it's got that little hometown vibe to it guys please don't be mad at me but i think i'm gonna actually grow out my hair i know i go back and forth and my husband is like you have to stop talking about your hair like nobody cares um but you know how hair is like it's a big deal for me and especially going from having so much blonde and my hair just being so so damaged I'm just so happy to have a healthy head of hair and kind of just want to grow it and see how long I want it, how long I guess it stays looking healthy. I think for now I'm just aiming for literally like shoulders, like collarbone length. Maybe I'm going to incorporate some smaller pieces just so like around the face so when I pull it up I can pull those down because that's like my favorite thing and yeah we've got a long way to go though before I'm able to pull it back but um I am enjoying the bob it is a moment it's very iconic I think I'm gonna look back and just love that I've done this um but yeah I always knew I wasn't gonna have it forever uh, I feel sometimes like it's just so much emphasis on my face and my husband is so cute he's like that's what I love about it like it just highlights your face and I'm like yeah, that's so sweet, but sometimes I don't want to highlight my face. The girls that get me, get me. Hello. Typically just grab for any tinted, like colored, sunscreen but this one i really have enjoyed and i'm almost out of it blushes i'm using this one by Ilya. it's called ladybird i've used it so much literally the label is coming off i love that one and then i've been mixing it lately with this skin by ella rose um i think this is uh palomino i use their brow gel as well just in between my brow laminations my mom and i like absolutely love this product this is the um, westman atelier bronzing stick and I use it all over my face and then also on my eyelids it's just like the perfect shade I've talked about it before it's incredible and then just some mascara Okay, Philip and I are going to check out this new coffee shop. We're gonna do a little bit of work, get some coffee. Guys, this coffee shop looks so beautiful. I've never been, but it's like what Nashville has been missing and it's actually freezing out today. So I'm just gonna wear this barber jacket, kind of bundle up and yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me. <laughs> Um, he just has an external mic for the audio quality, that's it. 
Oh, maybe I should get a mic. I don't know. That's kind of weird, though. That's super tiny. It's it's clipped in. It's super tiny. It, it's oh. more crisp audio. Oh, but yeah, check his videos okay, out. Okay, maybe I should do that. And he does tech reviews, and they're like really crisp. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we just got back. I changed into comfy clothes, and I have been just cleaning um, because we have a showing today, which I haven't really talked a lot about the home buying process, but. I'll talk about it now. Um, we are under contract for a house. We found a historic home. It was built in 1899. It's literally my dream home. Um, we're so excited about it, but we have to first sell our current home, um, which I'm a little sad to let go of our cute little cottage, but you know, it's just an end of an era. And so yeah, we're currently in that process. It's a lot of work though, because basically we get showings just spontaneously. Like today it's what, it's 12 o'clock and we got a showing request for 4 p.m. and like the house was a mess. So basically you just have to be like on your toes, keep up with cleaning and just be ready at a moment's notice to show it. So I'm just gonna be cleaning right now. Okay, the kitchen is clean and now what do you think Maya I just got to do the other rooms which I'm not looking forward to hey sweet girl this is my one-year-old look how sweet I love her little papas yes and then I've got a three-year-old over here that loves to look out the window don't you I was nervous to even talk about the home buying process because anything could happen, you know, stuff falls through. We've been looking for literally six months and we have had some other homes that we've liked and they have fallen through for whatever reason. It's just kind of how real estate works. But I have a really good like gut instinct that everything's gonna work out with this. I'm just like fingers crossed. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys about my hopes and dreams over here on this channel. So I'm going to go knock on some wood right now. I just come alive when I have a creative project. Like when we first remodeled this home, I'll put up photos. Like it looked completely different. It was super rushed. We had to flip it in like a month because our lease ended and we needed a place to live and we didn't want to, you know, get a temporary place. So it was really rushed to remodel it. And I wish, like, I'm just really excited to be able to have time, like take my time, really enjoy the creative process because I loved it so much the first time. I just know when I have a more exciting project and like a more beautiful house, it's gonna be even like just more inspirational to me. And I'm going to be sure to share everything with you guys because it's, all I'm going to be thinking about. I'm going to put some rosemary oil in my hair. I just let it sit whenever I have a day where I'm at home, like I'm just cleaning today. I'll wash it out tonight and style my hair. Okay, this is a little niche, but I've also been using mustard oil. This is used in Indian culture and it's incredible. Like it protects your hair from heat. It deeply, deeply moisturize, moisturizes, can't talk. It smells a little funky, not gonna lie. There's definitely a mustard smell to that, um, but the benefits are just too great, so. Get him, Maya, get him! It's cold today. Get that belly, get that get belly. belly, get that belly! She loves the cold, Mama. She's, She's the a, cutest girl. She's a winter dog. And that's the cutest boy. Snapper turtle. From left to right, I will jump him. See, he can't turn his head all the way. He's gonna turn his head. He's gonna look at you. <laughs> <laughs> go, Vidi, go! <laughs> Wednesday morning, I just woke up. I'm having my coffee. Um, actually having it decaf because I'm trying to only have one coffee per day and I'm actually gonna go to Pilates and then to a coffee shop with my mom. We're literally going back to the same exact coffee shop because I posted about it and my mom was like, oh my gosh, I need to go, which if you know Kelly, like that coffee shop is her vibe. So I'm taking her there. I love spending time with my mom, um, it's so much fun. So we're gonna do that. And then I've got some work I need to do today. So I'm gonna be 
just a very chill day. It is so cold lately and I'm loving it. Like I need to wear a coat when I head out. Um, but at least today the sun is out. Yesterday it was really cloudy, but today it's like the perfect fall day. I just come alive in fall. It's oh, my favorite season. Tomorrow I'm getting my brows laminated, which, oh my God, I definitely need to get that done. Like I'll, I'll explain. I'm going to post a TikTok and do the before and after so you guys can see the difference because you really don't understand until you see the difference. You know, I've been trying to cut out like toxins, toxic products, and I know that probably doing the brow lamination, I mean, it's basically like a perm on your eyebrows. It's not the healthiest. So I spaced it out a couple of months, um, but I just can't live without it. I'm sorry. There are some things that I just, I can't live without, and that is one of them. So yeah, we're gonna get that done. It is about time. Three trips coming up and I might take you guys with me on all of those. Um, I'm visiting my brother in Connecticut for like all the fall things. So Philip and I are going up there in October, like at the end of this month. And then let's see, in November, it's my birthday. So I'm taking a trip with friends to Alice Beach. And then for Christmas, everyone except my dad who had a fishing trip and he didn't want to make the trip, um, but we're all going to um, to go to Europe. So we're going to, where are we going, babe? We're going to Edinburgh, London, London oh my God, and Vienna. Vienna okay. Right. Mm -hmm. It's too early, my brain is not working. But yeah, Edinburgh, London, and Vienna, which Philip is from Vienna. So we're basically just spending Christmas with his family, but we get to see all the Christmas markets, um, all the lights, do all the Christmassy things. So I'm really excited for that. Well, of course, it's my dad, but <laughs> it's okay. It is what it is. Someone also has to watch our older dog, Lulu. Um, she doesn't do well when anyone watches her that is outside our family. She's just really old and super picky. So um, yeah, my dad was like, she would literally die if he doesn't watch her. So. Thursday, we are headed to our brow lamination appointment. So I'm gonna take you with me. It is definitely time we need to even these babies out. They need some love and support. I'm gonna show you what it looks like after. Okay, this is the next day. These are my brows. Just wanted to show you guys. I'm posting on TikTok about it, um, giving you all the details. But yeah, these are my brows. And I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I am so excited for this channel. We have so many fun things coming up that I can't wait to share on here. So stay tuned. Love you guys.